I'm always amazed at how quiet it is here. I guess when people come to Dartmoor, they think about hiking or climbing, but I, I really love Dartmoor for its running. I've done loads of bouldering at Cuckoo Rock and Down Tour, but it wasn't until I started running here that I found you know, the stone row here, literally a couple of hundred meters away from the top of the tours. And I think it's, it's a really great reminder that although Dartmoor looks wild, this is a really human landscape. Dartmoor's been occupied since, since the Bronze Age, and it's seen like consecutive periods of mining and habitation. And so what you're seeing today is really the legacy of all of this, all of this human activity. And these granite rocks were formed in the Permian about 300 million years ago. As these two continents were colliding with each other, there was massive amounts of volcanic activity going on in the middle. And this big blob of molten rock rose up to the surface and became the roots of this massive mountain chain. This is what the Dartmoor granite is the remains of. The actual formation of these rocks really helped to characterize what the climbing is like here. Because the granite was cooling really slowly, there was loads of time for these massive crystals to form. So a lot of the climbing on, on Dartmoor, you're pulling on these, these crystals and smearing on them. It's really, really characteristic of the area. Devon's got this real diversity of different rock types. You've got limestone and granite and the Colm Coast, and all of these different rock types, they lend themselves to like, totally different styles of climbing. You know, all the way from steep, hard sport climbing to sketchy, like, sea cliff trad to bouldering. So there's, there's loads to get out down here. And all of these different rock types as well, they're telling the story of this really important event in geological time, this big mountain building event called the Variscan Orogeny. This is Chudley, which is a, a really well-loved, well-loved trad crag in the south of Devon near Exeter. It's made of limestone. Like all limestone, it was deposited in the bottom of a shallow sea. And this, this limestone was laid down during the Devonian, which is kind of around 400 million years ago when fish were starting to radiate in the seas and the first ones were starting to flop up onto land before the evolution of um, four-legged animals. So a really interesting time geologically and in terms of evolution. The Devonian itself was actually named after Devon because the rocks from this part of the world were where we first started to study this, this period of time. So yeah, Devon is Devonian. But not all of the rocks in Devon are Devonian. Some were formed a little bit later. So we're going to whiz up to the north coast now to have a look at some other marine sediments that were formed a little bit later on and have a really, really different character to the limestone here. We've come up to the Colm coast. This part of the coast is known for these, for these incredible pieces of rock architecture, these massive sweeping slabs like here at Smoothlands. And with these massive sleep, sweeping slabs, it comes like some really hard, scary trad climbing. It's a really beautiful place. I did a lot of my early days of climbing happened in the southwest. I led my first E1 on Dartmoor, my first E2 at Chudley, my first and only E3 up here on the Colm Coast. It's, um, 
yeah, it means quite a lot to me actually. So like the limestone, the sediments here are marine sediments, but rather than being formed in a shallow tropical sea, these are the results of these massive underwater avalanches. And you can see all these different layers building up through the rock. And each of these layers is like an individual geological event deep underneath the sea. I mentioned this mountain building event, the Variscan orogeny. And this is part of that story. And so you had these two ancient continents that were moving towards each other, colliding like ever so slowly. And as they were doing so, all of the rocks around them were being contorted and bent and squished together. That's what has caused these amazing folds in the rock and this incredible, you know, this incredible dynamic looking rock architecture is really stunning. I think Devon, Devon offers so much for you as a climber, no matter what sort of climber you are. For me, like climbing and the natural world have always been really closely linked. And my experience of one has tended to affect the other. And you can really get a sense of that in places like this. It's a real, like, incredibly wild environment uh, to be in. Like, the, the plants that you see, the rocks that you see, they're all like this part of this nature experience. Um, and then when you're climbing through that, when you're actually like out there on the cliffs, pulling on this shale which was formed so long ago, and like trying to avoid like pulling on too many plants, and like it's. You're there, you're with it, and yeah, Devon's so good for that. <laughs>